got to be quiet, it's early. Wild turkeys, I guess. All right, let's do this. So I'm in, uh, I'm in Queensland on the Sunshine Coast for a few days for work. Uh, I flew in yesterday, dumped my bags at the hotel and then ran down just across the road to the beach uh, where I am right now. There's this awesome little rocky area. And I just uh, spent a bit of time exploring that yesterday. Uh, it's such a cool little spot. Lots of opportunities for different compositions, lots of lines leading out to a few different features out on the horizon. Uh, problem is, there's just, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. So I've come back down, come back down for a sunrise right now. And I'm going to have to try and just focus a bit, I think, because potentially I could just be running around everywhere scrambling, trying to find somewhere to shoot. Uh, I think I just need to make up, make my mind up and choose somewhere and stick with it. Maybe a couple of, couple of spots. So please excuse me as I decide what I'm going to do. So yesterday evening when I came out here, uh, no tripod, no filters, just handheld, just to really explore the pace. But I think a couple of the shots I got were actually kind of nice. So here's a couple of the shots I got. So this is one of the areas that I was poking around in yesterday evening. There's a lighthouse out here on a headland. And uh, yeah, look, there's all these beautiful sort of lines just leading out, well, pretty much in every direction. But right here, we've got a nice, uh, nice line of rocks, cracked rocks, some sort of barnacles and things around the place. And it's just leading straight, uh, straight out to it. The sunrise, I think it, I don't, don't actually know if the sunrise will be in frame in this shot because it might be just out to the left. Uh, but yeah, look, I think, I think this should make a pretty nice, pretty nice composition. No, it wasn't actually that long ago that I discovered the magic of a polarizing filter. And uh, now that I know what they do, I just, I can't believe I ever shot scenes like this without them. So that, oh, so that, uh, that color in the sky was looking awesome earlier on, but there's this, uh, yeah, big bank. Oh, I see it now. There is a bank of cloud out there, but I can just see the sun starting to, or the rays of the sun just starting to show up. So the colour was fading, it may just, uh, may just take off in a minute, but we'll see. So the thing I'm really liking about this composition, you've got these rocks that are sort of heading out in this V-shape, I guess, and then in between them, just here, this nice little cluster of rocks, sort of with this cross in the middle. So this is where my, uh, my indecisiveness takes over. I've got, I've got a shot here, which I think is pretty nice. I think the light might get a bit better, but as always, I'm tempted just to move around and get more than one shot. And you know, you watch so many photographers who say, you know, just stick it out, pick your location, stay there and wait for the best light. Sometimes I agree with that, sometimes I don't. So I think, what will I do? I think I want to move on. A little bit of a rush trying to get this next one. Maybe I just should have stayed where I was, but you know, I just can't help myself. 
So I did move around just a tiny bit, recomposed. I've still got that lighthouse out in the background there. And yeah, once the sun popped up, uh, that light just sort of happened really, really quickly. I may have got a shot, but I probably could have, well, if I had time to work on it for a little bit longer, it would have been a little bit better. But that's the way these things go. It's always fun just at the end, just to take the camera off the tripod, walk around, see what you can get, try and think a little bit differently maybe without being restricted by a tripod. And, uh, and yeah, just having a wander. And uh, I think I pretty much always end up doing that when I'm out for a shoot these days. It's a good way just to sort of, just to sort of try and think a little bit differently about the shots you're gonna get. One of the problems shooting seascapes. You've got to accept that your camera's going to uh, take a little bit of a pounding every now and then. Just come prepared, not a problem. I was just about to leave, but there's just too many interesting things around here. So, <laughs> so I didn't leave, obviously. Not yet. Uh, just all these patterns and textures in the rocks here. I've just worked my way back just a little bit. And uh, yeah, look, the light isn't so good anymore, but I just wanted to catch a shot. Actually, you know what? I'm here for a few days. I might even come back another time, but I just really wanted to catch a shot. Just these little dimples, I guess, maybe you'd call them in the rocks here. Uh, look really quite nice. So there we go. Alright, I think that's going to do it. Oh. Alright, that's going to do it I think. Pretty good morning. Uh, the shots that I got, I think they'll be pretty good. Obviously uh, I haven't seen them yet, but I think they'll turn out okay. Um, I shoot a lot of seascapes. That's the nature of living where I live. Plenty of ocean. Uh, not too many mountains or things, so yeah, that's the way it goes. So, you know, it's nice coming to the other side of Australia and shooting seascapes somewhere else for a change. Maybe I could actually go and shoot something else. Oh, there's a thought. Anyway, maybe that's next time. Uh, so I'm gonna take off. These waves are getting bigger. I'm gonna retreat a little further away from the water's edge. Thank you for watching as always. And until next time, I will see you later. Cheers.